Hello guys, welcome to When in Halifax and today is a quick question. Are you ready? Let's begin. So today's question is, um, what is the best way for a registered nurse? What is the best pathway for a registered nurse na galing sa Pilipinas o sa ibang bansa. So if you are a registered nurse like me, I'm a registered nurse uh, in the Philippines, what will be my best pathway and at the same time, what will be my process? So, bibigyan kita ng overview ng process but I will not discuss it. Overview lang, tip of the iceberg. And then, what will be my best pathways to come here in Canada? So luckily, if you are a registered nurse, if you are a registered nurse with experience, okay, with experience at least one year or two years, malaking malaki ang chance mo na makapunta dito sa Canada. Number one, dito especially sa Nova Scotia, I don't know sa ibang province, but dito sa Nova Scotia, every time they open their provincial nominee category B, palaging kasama ang registered nurse. Kasi kailangan-kailangan nila ang mga nurses dito sa Nova Scotia. So if you are a registered nurse, my best my very best advice is to check the official immigration website ng Nova Scotia. Just type Nova Scotia Immigration and you will see Nova Scotia Immigration.ca. So go to immigrate and then click category B, okay? So ngayon, kapag nakapasok na sa provincial nominee, magkakaroon kang additional 600 points aside from your CRS score. So like for example for me, my CRS score is less than 300 or less than, ah oh sorry, less than 400. Sabi natin 370. Ngayon kulang ako and to be invited, kailangan mo ng 400. So konting puntos na lang kailangan ko. So what I did, I take another additional points by applying to a provincial nominee. So nag-apply ako ng provincial nominee dito sa Nova Scotia. And luckily, I was invited because I am a registered nurse. So, nabigyan ako ng chance ng Nova Scotia na inominate. So, after the, after the nomination, they gave me 600 points for my CRS score. So, in up ko po guys yung 600 and my 300 something. Kalimutan ko na. in up yun. So, nagtotal ng 900. More than. 925, I think. Basta more than yun. Ng 900. So, right after, within 2 or 3 months, nagkaroon ako ng ITA or invitation to apply. So, that's a very short, short uh, pathway. So, registered nurse ako sa Pilipinas with an experience. And then, nung na-register ako sa Pilipinas, nag uh, tinignan ko yung CRS score. Mababa yung CRS score ko. Kaya, humanap ako ng different pathways. My, my two pathways is to look for a job offer. Naghanap ako, pero wala pa ako nakuha. And the second one is a job, uh, provincial nomination. I waited for one year. Then after one year, in-invite po nila ako. Then less than three or six months, nakuha ko na yung PR or PR ko dito sa Nova Scotia. So ngayon, ngayon na nandito na ako, ano ang best kong gagawin? So the tendency is, if you're a registered nurse, you start from a CCA. A CCA, so... The CCA is like a, a caregiver. You're working in a long-term care. But then, CCA, may course po dito. Kailangan po mag-aral. Pero since we are registered nurses, automatic ina-acknowledge nila na makapagtrabaho ka na CCA. But then, some private companies or some some institutions, they, they have limit. Like for example, you're a CCA for only two years. Kasi kailangan mo after two years, it's either you get your LPN or nursing or the CCA certificate. So, ganun po yung sistema. But then, kapag pumunta ka dito, wala kang worry. If you're a registered nurse, don't worry na hindi ka makapaghanap ng trabaho. Definitely, makakapaghanap ka ng trabaho dito sa Nova Scotia kasi ito yung in-demand dito sa Nova Scotia. So, ngayon, ngayon nakuha mo na ano yung mga pathways, ano yung overview so, if you are a registered nurse, automatic, hindi ka po registered nurse dito. Kailangan mo mag-take ng mga exams and kailangan mong ipa-evaluate. Speaking of evaluate. So, pag nagpa-evaluate ka yung documents mo as a registered nurse, 
yung experience mo as a registered nurse, kailangan i-evaluate ng NNAS. Then the NNAS will evaluate and they'll give recommendation to the College of Nursing kung ito ay comparable or not comparable. Ngayon, kapag sinabing comparable, you will just take um, take the exam. If not comparable, you will take a bridging course. And then once you already have your bridging course, nakakuha ka ng clinical, you will take the exam. So that's it. How long? Hindi po natin alam. It depends on you. So that is the pathway for a registered nurse here in Nova Scotia. And if you are planning to migrate here in Canada, if you're a registered nurse, you have a big advantage. So I hope this video nakatulong, naka, nasugot ko yung mga tanong. And more questions guys. If you have questions, if you have additional information, comment it below guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.